Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. So we killed this thing. That was quite the fight. Quite the initiation into our group. Huh, Eric? Yes, yes, yes. I did not loot the thing. Here we go. Okay. Now. Um, it just feels right somehow. I think... I'm not sure if it killed anybody in town, though. Should go check. Let's we'll see if it, if anyone died. Hopefully not. Hopefully it was a successful fight. Successful meaning nobody died. It looks like everybody's still alive. Oh, a chicken died. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, wheat. Oh, we knocked over the leeks. I'm gonna take a little bit of wheat as payment for killing the dragon. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, right. I remember that guard got struck down with one blow. Oh. Well, he died in the line of duty. He did his job died with honor and stuff. But it doesn't look like any of the villagers died. At least that I can see. Oh. Looks like a cow died. And or it was killed by a saber cat? I don't need all that fine. Aw. Poor thing? What we do. Things I hate you. Understand. I understand. I'm sorry. I just get so excited thinking about it. So, can we do some fire magic? <laughs> Most certainly not. <laughs> but perhaps I can teach you how to put some candles out. We'll start there. Oh, wonderful! I can't wait! Putting candles out with magic? Looks like it, a fence got knocked over. But apart from that, it seems like uh, uh, oops. it seems like the town has been left pretty much unscathed. Yes, that's pretty nice. I guess everybody ran inside, which is good. That's what they were supposed to do. When dragons come, you run inside, right? Yes. All right. Well, nice! Nobody died. Except the guard. But that was his job. It was his job to die protecting the village. <laughs> now, we gotta find the horses. I think they were right here. Oh, good, and they're all still alive, too. <laughs> Alright, you guys, let's get headed out. that. Let's head out and uh, we are on our way to White Run. Get on your horses. Eric, get on your horse. Eric. Good. All right. Okay. Oh, come on. Why? 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 Oh, whoops. I don't have my sword. What is this guy wearing? Sorry! A red guard, huh? Hey! Don't hit my dog! No, don't heal! He's totally focused on the dog. That's just really annoying. Mercy. 
Get him, Miko. <sighs> what has he got on? Ooh. Stormcloak armor. Dwarven helmet. Primitive Nord heavy boots. Those actually are worth something. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, not this way. <laughs> We're going this way. Alrighty. We're back. And I'm hungry and thirsty. I should probably get lunch. But first, I think I would like to get my business over with. Like, uh, talking to the people. Mm, we need to talk to Farangar. We need to talk to Preventus. Excuse me. Be careful. Sorry. And yeah, <clears throat> talk to uh, Farangar about the book thing. Oh, there's Preventus right there. Let's catch him before he disappears. Hey. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. I know. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Yes. Perhaps I can assist you. Yes, the bandit leader at Silent Moon's camp is dead, and I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. It takes a while to make a drink. One hundred? You've paid me more before. Well... It was pretty easy. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. It was Reach. actually not a very difficult. Eric, make yourself at home, why don't you? All right, Farangar, what do you have to say for yourself, huh? I went all over the place looking for those books of yours. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest no, of the No, I... No, I have all the books you asked for. You've done well. Thank you. Here, this is for you. What is for me? Hmm? What? What? You're giving me knowledge? Magic? Knowledge of magic? Are you kidding me? You have got to be kidding me, Farangar. I went all over Skyrim to look for these particular books of yours. I braid Falmer and giants and dragons and everything else in between. I almost died! And you give me magic knowledge? It just feels right somehow. Shut Just up, Eric! Life as an adventurer. I don't even have I magic! Making... I don't even use magic and you're- Oh my goodness. Don't get too far ahead. <sighs> you mean don't get too carried away? Is that what you meant to say? You're right. I'm thinking day, twice friend. before I well. ever, ever do anything for you again, Faringar. <laughs> Ugh! Knowledge is not currency! I'll have you know. I can't spend it. Especially if it's knowledge that I don't even want. Can't even use it. I don't care about magic. I don't have magic. I've never, ever used magic. Does he think just because it's valuable to him doesn't mean it's valuable to everybody else? Does he not have money? Ugh. Okay, I need to calm down. What can calm me down? I think I'll go sell stuff. And I'll also get something to eat and drink. Before moving on. Yes, I'm gonna do that. 
Okay. Feeling better now. I'm feeling a little better now. Oh, did you need something? No, Eric. I did not. So, let's head off to Riften now. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Get on your horses, you guys. <clears throat> Come on, get on your horses. What is the matter with you two? Eric, that's Lydia's horse. What are you doing? Are you deciding to trade for a little while? Well, I know Lydia never really liked Glory very much. She's always more interested in all the prettier horses. So maybe they're trading just to see what each other's horses are like. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, whatever they want to do. I don't care. What is this? This wasn't here last time I was here. It looks like a wagon got caught on fire or something. Well, let's check it out. Looks like there's blood. I don't know what that is. What is this? Suspicious cart rubble. Okay. Oh. As you travel near the edges of White Run, the rubble of a recently destroyed travel cart can be seen on the edge of the road. No kidding. It seems to have been. Seems to have been. Okay. Stripped clear of any valuable items, but there may be hidden items that guards are and passing travelers may have missed. Well, that's what I was looking for. Search the brief for items. Picking away at the rubble reveals only a few gold coins and items. Really? Wait a minute. What? I didn't find anything. Where are all these gold coins? But of particular interest is a tattered letter. It indicates that the cart was being operated by a small band of bandits traveling to a hideout they refer to as Winstad Mine. Accompanying the letter is a small map that highlights its location as being in the marshes of Hjalmarch, in between the Nordic tombs of Ustengrav and Highgate ruins. Okay, why couldn't I actually find this letter and these items in, like, this bag or something? Why is it telling me this? That's odd. So, what? Am I supposed to go there? Am I supposed to care about the fact that these bandits are camped out in some mine somewhere? I don't. I don't seem to care about it. Ustengrav, huh? That's where we went to go get the Horn of Jurgen Windcrawler. Windcrawler. <laughs> Windstad Mine. There it is right there. Well, okay. Good for those bandits. They got themselves a spot. <sighs> I'm gonna keep going on to Rifton. Come on, get on your horses! Oh, Lydia's like, wait a minute, I want Glory back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's late. Okay, well, let's keep going. Okay, I think I want to stop here in Riverwood as well because I didn't get to sell everything in Whiterun that I have that I need to sell. So I'm going to sell things here too. Oh, they'll catch up. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some mead. Not now. If I don't pull night duty, I'll drink around with you at the Sleeping Giant. But I'm thirsty now. You're always thirsty. <laughs> just like you're always drunk. Now let me get back to my rounds. Huh. Okay. Where are your guys' horses? Lydia? Where- Where'd you put your horses? Alright, I'm starting to get tired of you two dismounting the moment I dismount. You should catch up with me first, seriously. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go in here and sell stuff to Lucan. 
Now, I just forgot that I have this, this uh, hunter armor. I forgot that I picked that up. I should try it on. See what it looks, oops, looks like. Um, okay, it doesn't quite look like what the picture shows. No, it sure doesn't. The picture shows it having a green skirt thingy with some chain mail and little like shield design thingamabobbers, whatever they're called, on that strap. Also, the picture doesn't show it having such a humongous fur collar. I like the picture one better. For sure. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, huh. There's dead rabbits hanging from it. That's kind of gross. Um, I'd like it if it didn't have such a huge fur collar. Also, this horn that's got clips with my water flask. Or something. Something else is clipping with my water flask, too. Huh. I wonder if Eric would wear it. Yes, let's try it on Eric, because, um... No, I have this too, but I don't think Eric... I don't want him to look like a storm cloak. Hey, Eric. If I can make enough money. No, no, no. Um, hey, let's, let's, uh, how about you take, you wear this. Uh, uh, hunter armor. Yeah. He's not going to put it on, though. Um, hey, wait, 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 oh, Eric. Did you need something? Yes, I'm still not done with you. Okay, there's your armor. So let's take that off. Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, all right, now let's give you the hunter armor. You lead, I'll follow. All right. I know it's light armor and he is more into heavy armor, but uh, I think it actually does look pretty good on him. Because he doesn't have anything to clip with the horn. It actually makes it look like he's got some supplies that he's carrying. And um, at first I thought I'd miss farming. I guess I've had my fill of it, because I don't miss it at all. I, I need to give him different uh, gauntlets, so it's not really go with it. But yeah. Hey, Eric, what do you think? I like it. I'll let him wear that for now. Maybe I'll level up his light armor. And then he can look better. Now, after I came out of Lucan's, um, what's his name? The guy who works here, uh, Alvor, I guess his name is? Um... He was closed by the time I came out of Lucan's, so I don't- I, did, I still haven't been able to sell everything. It's, uh, getting late, though, so I think I will eat dinner here and, um, get a- get a room. And then we'll, uh, head off to Rift in the morning. Ha! <sighs> Good. Nice. <laughs> Warm hands by the fire, because that's what we're all doing. Yay! <laughs> Is that a guy laying on the floor over there? Okay. Weird. There are beds here. <laughs> they just let him lay on the floor. Okay, well, I guess we should be off. Oh, he's the drunk. Okay. Good day, yeah. friend. Keeping well? Uh, yes. Hi, Eric. Good morning. <laughs> All right, let's go, you guys. Come on. Oh. It just feels right somehow. Oh, move. This new life is an adventure. You guys, come on. Get out. Way. Huh? Uh. It's a lot earlier than I thought. 
Oh, 6.30. Y yes. So, Alvor probably is not open yet. Or maybe he is. Alvor. Whatever you need. Here, I want to sell Looking you to some protect stuff. Yourself or deal with some damage. <sighs> yes, I want to sell you things. Okay, sold everything. Now, I also forgot to mention, yesterday when I was in Lucan's, I picked up a, um, a mortar and pestle. Lucan had one for sale. So, I now can make potions whenever and wherever I wish. Don't have to find somebody's alchemy lab first. But for now, we are going to continue on our journeys. Get on your horses, everybody. Come on, Lydia. Get on your horse. And then, uh, yeah, let's make it to Riften in a decent amount of time, please. Uh. Oh! Whoa, it suddenly got light out when we left, uh... Okay then, that was odd. Huh. Whoa! Whoa, what is this? Oh no. That's Stormcloaks and Thalmor. Oh, they're being slaughtered by the Thalmor. What do you mean, official Thalmor business? You just. Walk away, huh? Make me! Walk away now. You guys practiced this, didn't you? Make me walk away. Come on. Walk Hit away me. now. This doesn't concern walk you. Now. Walk away. Move along now. <laughs> they practiced this, I know it. Hey. You're interfering with walk away. Now. Now. Whoa, that walk helps. Away. Now. Walk Make away. me walk, walk away. away. Come on. Now. Make me. Do it. Make me. Make me. Come on. Make me walk, walk away. away. Walk Just away. do it. Now. Walk away. Now. Walk away. Now. Oh well, now you guys are just getting annoying. You're just getting annoying. Actually, that's for some. I don't want that. Ah. Ooh. That's kinda neat. I don't really need it. Move along. Walk away now. Were there only two? Right. I thought there were three, like, but walk away now. Walk away now. Oh come on! I wanted to fight you guys. Make walk me away. interfere now. with official phone walk walk away. Now. Oh, you guys. Walk away. Now. You guys are no fun. Walk away now. Walk come away. on, Lydia. Now. We'll leave them to their synchronized warnings and yeah what are you trading horses again huh okay <laughs> okay it's getting cold I think I'm going to put on my coat or my uh, my cloak and my hood yeah Chili. It's starting to snow. I hope there's not a blizzard up here. Luckily, though, we don't have to travel very far in this cold. Because the pass is pretty short. Oh, that's that hunter guy who just lives up here with no shirt on the whole time, somehow. Don't shoot me! And who are these people? Okay. Just nobody, I guess. Huh, okay, well. 
That was a quick run over the pass, and now we're back down where it's warmer. Ah, oh, better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I ran over the goat. Uh, it's still kind of cold, though. All right, there. Now I can take off my hood and cloak. Um, there. Well, we're making pretty good time. We should get to Riften pretty soon. Oh, there is just something about Riften. What? Is there an invisible guy here? I can see you a little bit. Yeah, so can dog meat. Another assassin? <laughs> His blood shows up. Get us, dog meat. Stupid assassins. Ugh! I really need to get rid of them for good. I'm so tired of them. I need to figure out who's hiring them to try to kill me. Oh. Nice. And then, um, yeah, put a stop to it. Because it's getting annoying. Okay. Now, as I was saying. Riften. It's so pretty. There's just something about Riften that... I don't know. I know I've said it before. I don't want to live in Skyrim. But if I had to, this would be the place. The thing is... Out of all the places I've been in Skyrim so far, which is pretty much almost everywhere, I think, um, Riften reminds me the most of Cyrodiil. It's still quite different, but it's the closest that Skyrim has come so far to reminding me of home, and I guess I just like it because of that. Yes. So. All right. Can we go in the back gate this time? That'd be great if we didn't have to walk all the way around. Yeah? You gonna let us in this time? Hmm? Okay. Alright. So, we need to look for um, somebody Blackbriar. Oh, I can't remember who his name is. Um, Hemming Blackbriar, and oh, we can also return the gold ore to Medesi, which, uh, Hemming. Ah, Blackbriar Manor. Knock, knock. Anybody here? Anyone home? Hello? I'm here for some bit. There you are. Um, Guys, come on. Fancy yourself the adventuring type, eh? It's just as well. I doubt your combat I prowess would prove valuable in a real reason. battle anyway. What? What? I was trained by some of the finest warriors in all Skyrim to wield a blade as if it was an extension of my own arm. Oh, really? <sighs> well, if I wasn't doing other business today, I would uh, challenge your... Uh... Your claim, definitely. Um, here's a missive from Pactor. I delivering. Thank you. Here, this is for you. What in the name oh. of Oblivion do you want? Can't you tell? My I'm doing business with no your expense where I'm concerned. son. I guess. I'm heir maybe? to the family fortune, after all. I don't have time for idle chit chat. What is it? Yeah. Okay. I was just talking to your son. <sighs> heir to the family throne. Fortune, whatever. Once throne. I'm in charge, I have bigger aspirations than just Skyrim. I plan to bring Blackbriar and me to all of Tamriel. 
Oh my gosh, this guy reminds me of me so much, and I hate him. Ugh. Okay. It let's, just feels uh, right somehow. Let's, uh... Give the stuff to Medesi. Medesi. Greetings, honored friend. Hi. Did I interest you in some fine jewelry? Actually, I have the mammoth tusk that you asked for. The ivory from this tusk will be perfect for the inlay on my amulets. Thank you. I um don't have the other stuff yet. It's a little harder to come by, but I'll be back when I do. Okay, cool. Safe travels, Landstrider. All right. The city really gets to her. What? You shouldn't talk to me all at once, you guys. Okay. All right. Well, uh, what time is it? Oh, ten. stay alive. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more trading. I think I have uh, some stuff that I still need to get rid of. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I need. You know what? I think I'd like to go in. Uh, oh my gosh! Everybody's talking at once. Okay, just get away from the market so I can have a thought to myself. I'm gonna go in the inn and get something to eat. That's what I wanted to do. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Yeah. What's your problem? You are. You have interesting looking hair. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Good morning. Well, okay. Yeah, sure. Looking for work? Uh huh. I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Uh, good morning. Hi. Um, yes, I've done work like this before. You're gonna pay me a lot. Who's pushing me, Eric? Ugh. Seriously. Is this corner a little crowded to you? What sort of message? Ah, well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the <sighs> finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. Uh huh. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. What? Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Okay, so why is Sibby in jail? Is Sibby one of Briar, uh, B B Maven's children? No idea, but whatever he did, it must have angered Maven. No guard would lock up a Blackbriar without the old lady's permission. Yeah. Well, why don't you go tell Sibby yourself? I'm not exactly comfortable around guards or jails. Definitely not when associates of mine have been locked up. No, oh. I'll meet you outside of town. Okay. Well, sounds easy enough, yes. Okay. Good man. You won't regret it. Oh, I better Head not. to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. You'll be well paid for your time. Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I'll meet you outside of town. Yeah, you Need something? said that. No, it no, no. It just feels right somehow. Oh, okay. Having this new life as an adventurer. Yeah. That's what okay. I was meant to do. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm going to have some lunch before we go. Hey, Taylor. Get off your lazy tail and take care of the customer. Keep your scales. Yeah, Taylor. Taylor doesn't actually sell food, though. He only sells drinks. I'm going to just have something of my own. Like this. And this. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Rank? Oh. Um. No. Actually. I don't. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Okay. Your drinks are a little bit too expensive, Talon. Otherwise, I would have them more often. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. I just told you why I'm not having one right now. Hmm? And I just realized that my food stores are running a little bit low. Hmm. Well... Is there something I can do for you? No. Alright, well let's go see what this Sibby Blackbriar has to say. The jail. The jail, huh? Um... 
Was that a dragon that I just heard? At first, I thought I'd miss farming. I guess I've had my I... fill of it. Shush, I Eric! I'm trying all. to listen. Could have sworn I just heard a dragon. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gems. Huh? Maybe it was just the wind. Here. I'm assuming that the jail is in the keep. Maybe it's back here. What? There it was again. Did you hear that? I could have sworn I just heard a dragon roaring. No? Okay. There it went again! What is- Every time I walk through here. Okay, well whatever. Okay, interesting jail. What are you doing down here? Um, um, it's fine. I'm allowed to be down here. Oh, my mistake then. <laughs> Sorry, you can go on ahead. Thank you. Yeah, I'm visiting someone. This is a jail? What's this? Crazy Khajiit. Important. The crazy Khajiit in cell one is not to be disturbed. He paid us good money for that cage, so don't go bothering him. If he's still here in a month, I think we should enforce a little rent increase. I doubt we'll get the chance, though. You've all seen the way he looks. Won't be surprised if he tries to end his life soon. If you see him in a particularly suicidal mood, get in there and stop him. He's been using the key we gave him, so if you need in there in a hurry, use the spare in the broken strong box above the fireplace. A dead man can, can't can pay rent. So... Okay. They've got somebody paying rent to stay in a jail. Who's suicidal. That's weird. And they only want to stop him from killing himself so that they don't lose out on the money he's paying them. That's interesting. Um, it's kind of dark in here. I think I'm going to turn on my lantern. <laughs> So, uh, I guess she is not. I'm assuming Sibby is a man. I, is that him? Oh my goodness. Why is he purple? Hello? He's got an ebony bow. Sibby. You like it in there, Mr. Dragonfly, don't you? I hope you have enough air. What? You're talking to the dragonfly that's in the jar? Okay. Why are you naked? And why are you blue? Purple, blue, whatever. Okay. Anyways, um, Sibby, I've got uh, to talk to you. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Yes, I'm coming to gawk at you. Ha ha ha, you're in jail. No, I was sent by Louis Latrush. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Yes. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. What? You don't own the horse you already sold to him? That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. Ah. Uh. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't yeah. want to cross Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver what? it, and you can have the second half of the payment. What? You want me to steal a horse from your mother? I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Yes, I am. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Oh. You're gonna... Okay, so not only do you want me to steal a horse... You want me to steal a stash out of the lodge? Wow. 
you got some really nice furnishings for being in jail. <laughs> he's, look, he's got a double bed with blankets. He's got silver wash basins. He's got storage containers. He's got silver candlesticks. And look at all the food and stuff he's got. And look at what... Look at what this guy's got. He has a lot of candles. But he's got straw... He's got a... A loot... With arrows sticking out of it. Hey dude, come over here. Come here. Come here. I wanna talk to you. Come here! I want to ask you some questions. I'm very curious to know why are you blue and why are you naked? And why do you want to kill yourself? And why are you paying rent to stay in jail? Seems like all you'd have to do is just commit a crime and stay in for free! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. Let's go do the thing for, uh, Sibby. Hmm? And then, um, and then we'll come back later.